Okay. Now remember in our first uh, video, we uh, created the um, the method calculate distance formula. This void didn't return anything. Probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What we want to do is we want to pass in parameters to it, and then we want to return a value. Okay. So up here, I'm going to say double x1. And then I'm going to do a double y1, double x2, and double y2. So I'm now passing those in, and I don't need to declare it here. So those are no longer going to be um, contained within this. I'm passing them as parameters. What am I? Uh, what am I calling? X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. Okay. So I'm going to calculate these. Now I don't need to retrieve these because those will be passed in. So I'm going to get rid of that code right there. Specifically, I'm going to put it back down here. Okay. Now we're still going to calculate distance like before. But we're not going to put it directly into the label anymore. Those should be gone. And we'll actually put it in down here. And then this is going to be a return that we're going to issue here. Return distance. Now down here, I'm going to declare uh, double x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to get them from the text box just like before. And I want to ca call this calculate um, distance formula. I have a new variable called dist. I'm going to pass in x1, y1, x2, y2. and say dist is equal to the calculate. And then I'll write it back out to the, the form. Doesn't like something there. What, what is it doing like? Let's convert void to double. Oh, I'm returning a double. So instead of this saying void, I need to have it say double. That's going to be the type that's going to return be returned. Okay, let's see what this, what's happening here. Got these course uh, declared. Then x1 is equal to double parse to tb underscore x1 text. Brings all those in from the text boxes. Assigns them to these variables. Now I'm passing these variables in as parameters. When it calls calculate distance formula, it comes up here. It passes in those values. I declare distance. And then I calculate distance just like before and then return it. When it returns the value, it'll return it and set it equal to and set the, this variable equal to that value. And then I print out that uh, variable to the, to, the, to the screen. Now you might be looking at this it's like, well that's harder than it was before. You know, why didn't you keep it simpler? Well now that I've, I've created this calculate distance formula uh, method, I can call this from anywhere in my program. And we'll see later on uh, when we're talking about code reuse uh, and later in the course, you can actually create this such you can uh, call it from anywhere. So I no longer have to um, put this in every program that uses the distance formula. All I have to know how to do is how to pass what parameters to pass in. And what is it going to return? It's going to return a double. Now if I run this, now if I put values in here, 4, 2, 3, 1, click Calculate, it, re it works just like normal. But now, it's um, this is can be called from anywhere, anywhere. Let me show you that. Go back to my form. Although this won't really demonstrate the power of it, I'm going to call it from another button. This is going to be my other call. So we double click it. 
Now I still need to do some of the same items. I need to declare some variables. Let's call this the x1, the x2, the x3, x3, uh, the x, the y1, and the y2, and uh, the distance. There we go. So then we say the x1 is equal to double dot parse. And I got my tb underscore x1 dot text. The x2 is equal to double dot parse. tb underscore x2 dot text. The y1 is equal to double dot parse. tb y1 dot text. The y2 is equal to double dot parse tb underscore y2 dot text. Okay, so then I want to calculate the distance is equal to calculate. So I'm going to call that, um, that method again. And this time I'll pass in the x1, the x2, the x, the y1. What am I supposed to pass it in? C comma. What's the next one? double y1 so the y1 and the x2 the y2 and then I want to bring send that back out to the form so lb underscore distance dot text is equal to the distance dot to string lb LB a distance dot visible equals true. Now all of this is mainly just bringing in the values from the text box, doing the parsing, calling the function, calling the method, and then just printing the, the return re result back out to the form. So if I run this, I'll put values in here. Click that, click calculate, it'll call that uh, method. If I change some values, and click this other button, it also calls it. Now, it, you, you don't really understand the power here because you, it's all a very simple form. But if you've got a very complex program, imagine like a Word or a Visual Studio with all the different um, components to it. If you need to call this particular function, calculate the distance in more than one location, instead of you putting uh, maybe 10 copies of the distance formula throughout, you'll create one method that you can call from anywhere in your program. And that's the true power of it. Maybe you want to call this, and I'll do this for the next example, maybe you want to call this over and over, changing some values. Um, so maybe you want to double the values. Actually, I guess I could show it in this one. Here, maybe I want to um, double the x values and the y values and see how it affects the, the output. So now if we run this, and if I put values here, click Calculate. We get that distance. Now we put a two times in front of each one of those values, so maybe that'll double our distance. Let me click that. It almost seemed like it did, didn't it? Um, trying to think if that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see, two squared is four. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Eight, nine, or forty to four here. Quick calculate. Thirty-eight. Yeah, 76. So the question is, then if I put a 9 in front of this. Will our distance be 9 times as, as greater? Okay, so we put 3, 2, 4, 2 here. Click Calculate. 1. Um... Oh, I'm 
some subtracting wrong values. One there, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Now if I click this, yeah, nine times is great. So um, again, we're not passing in the same values. I'm modifying it to maybe test the theory. Anyway, that shows you um, creating a method um, where you pass in the parameters and it returns a value.